The world has reacted with alarm after the coup in Sudan, where armed forces led by strongman General Abdel Fattah Burhan have detained the Prime Minister and declared a state of emergency. The UN urged the release of all officials held. The unlawful detention of the Prime Minister, government officials and politicians is unacceptable and contravenes the constitutional document and the partnership critical for the success of Sudan's transition. The Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghraib called on all sides to abide by the transitional arrangements for power sharing between civilians and the military. The African Union called for the immediate resumption of dialogue between civilians and the army, while the European Union insisted violence and bloodshed must be avoided and officials released. The EU is very concerned uh, about Sudan's military forces reportedly putting uh, Prime Minister Hamdok under house arrest and as well as detaining other members of the civilian leadership, and we urge for their fast release. Words echoed by the U.S., which says the military's actions in Sudan are in stark opposition to the will of the Sudanese people and their aspirations for peace. Washington is suspending funds to the country. Any change to the transitional government by force risks assistance in our bilateral, bilateral relationship more broadly. In light of these developments, the United States is pausing assistance. Among other reactions, South Africa said it was deeply concerned by any attempt to undermine Sudan's political transition.